Hi guys. So continuing on, this creature, his name is Randy Blythe. And he is the, if you would call it singing, singer front man for the satanic band Lamb of God. So let's take a look. Very, very demonic person. Following another demonic band and given the salute to the skull. The skull always means death. So the reason I'm bringing him up is because in this band and kept on the down low, unless you're you know, paying attention. He also, at the beginning of his career in the 90s, had a little girl, a baby. And that baby died right before their record deal. So, you know, that was sad and people thought it was a a baby that died right after birth or some people said it was stillborn. Who, who's to say? However, the thing that's really disturbing about this band is that the guitar player in this band a few years ago also had his baby daughter die. And I just find that too much of a coincidence that a band, a satanic band, would actually have two female babies die with the band members at, at infant age. And the guitar player, and a couple of years after that, his baby dying, he made a video. I think his name is Mark Morton. I'm, I'm not really sure. Again, I don't follow these people except for when I'm doing research. And his video actually touched on child sacrifice. So I was putting this together and every time one of the babies dies there seems to be like a jump in popularity with the band. So we know that Satan is the father of lies and he deceives these people and he pulls the rug out of them, you know, immediately after he has their soul and they're stuck under his his rule and abused if they don't continue along play along because he really doesn't care about any of them he hates them but they think they're something special and because they get a little bit of money and fame they think oh this is this is great you know they believe lucifer is you know the good guy until things start to go wrong. So one of the things that the Father of Lies pulled on this satanic person was on one of their tours, and I think this was like 2012, 2013, a young person in the Czech Republic, you know, somewhere over in Eastern Europe, somewhere on a tour, a teenage boy, a young man, was killed at his concert and he was accused of shoving the kid off the stage and killing him and he was put in a jail over there for several years until the entire band had to sell off all of their money and rights to everything to get him out of jail and so he continues to just dangle worthlessly in the music world right now. So I just thought it was bizarre that a band would actually have two dead female babies 